Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. Today I was going to go over the derivation of the double angle identities in trigonometry. These are a little hard and I'm going to go over why cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. It is a really cool derivation and it'll make sense when you see how that thing came about. Okay, so I'm going to derive or prove where the double angle identity in trigonometry comes from. Cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. So where it comes from is I draw my unit circle. It has a radius of 1. This angle here would be theta, and this angle here would be theta as well. I'm given this black triangle here, and I'm going to use the law of cosines, which you might remember is a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. So that's the law of cosines. I think in a previous video I did a derivation of where that's from, just so you know the stuff isn't made up. So I'm going to use the law of cosines and say this is one side right here opposite this angle. So I'm going to say this side squared, bc squared, is equal to this side squared plus this side squared minus 2 times this side, this side, cosine of the angle opposite this side. So cosine of 2 theta. And then I'm going to stick with this. BC squared is equal to AB squared. Well, that's just 1 plus 1 minus 2 times that leg, that leg, cosine of 2 theta. So then I have BC squared is equal to 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2 cosine of 2 theta. And then from there, I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So then I have BC is equal to the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine of 2 theta. So now I have BC is equal to the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine 2 theta. And if I go back up to the circle here, I can see that sine of theta, just, I'm just going to look at this one right triangle here, sine of theta is equal to BD over 1. So sine of theta is equal to BD over 1, or BD is equal to sine of theta. I could see that DC and BD are equal, so that would be congruent to that. So if BD is equal to sine of theta, DC is equal to sine of theta. Then I know this plus this is sine of theta plus sine of theta, or BD plus DC is 2 sine of theta. So 2 sine of theta is equal to BC. So I'm going to replace this BC right here with 2 sine of theta. So BC is replaced with 2 sine of theta, and it's equal to that. Then my next step is I'm going to square both sides of the equation. So 2 squared gives me 4. Sine squared of theta is equal to this quantity squared. The square removes the square root. So now I have 4 sine squared of theta is equal to 2 minus 2 cosine of 2 theta. And then from there, I'm just going to rearrange my terms. I'm going to rearrange them by adding 2 cosine of 2 theta to both sides. That'll give me 2 cosine of 2 theta over here. I'm going to subtract 4 sine squared of theta from both sides. So that's going to give me the 2 minus 4 sine squared of theta. So I have 2 cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 minus 4 sine squared of theta. Then I divide both sides by 2. These cancel to give me cosine of 2 theta. That's what I was asked to derive in the first place. And then these right here, 2 divided by 2, so this is going to give me cosine of 2 theta is equal to 2 divided by 2, 1 
minus 4 divided by 2, 2 sine squared of theta. So there's our double angle identity. Cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. So I have the cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. That's the first version of the double angle identity for cosine of 2 theta. And then I could use my Pythagorean identity, which is cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta is equal to 1. And now that I have that Pythagorean identity, I could solve for sine squared by subtracting cosine squared from both sides. If I do that to the left side, I do it to the right side as well. And I could see sine squared of theta is 1 minus cosine squared. So I'm going to replace this sine squared of theta with 1 minus cosine squared of theta. So then cosine of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 times 1 minus cosine squared of theta. So I have 1, distribute that, minus 2 plus 2 cosine squared of theta, which is 2 cosine squared of theta. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So there's the second form of cosine of 2 theta. But I know my Pythagorean identity cosine squared of theta plus sine squared equals 1. So I'm going to take this one right here and replace it with cosine squared plus sine squared. So that one's getting replaced with cosine squared plus sine squared to give me 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1. And that one is that. And then I'm going to distribute that negative through that quantity. So I have 2 cosine squared of theta minus cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. And then what I'm saying is I have two of these things minus one of these things, which leaves me with only one of them minus sine squared of theta. So the third double angle identity for cosine is cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. So here are our double angle identities here. Sine of 2 theta equals that. Cosine of 2 theta could equal that, cosine squared minus sine squared. Or it could equal 2 cosine squared minus 1, or 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. And then the double angle identity for tangent of 2 theta is 2 tan of theta over 1 minus tan squared of theta. Remembering that could be a secant squared of theta or tan of 2 theta is equal to sine of 2 theta over cosine of 2 theta. Not easy, I know, um, but they are kind of fun puzzles. Uh, hopefully you're embracing the hard work and enjoying digging into them and seeing how all these things go together. This is in fact the way um, engineering is done is using trigonometry. So hopefully all of this helped. If so, hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.